So I don't know what you can see. So I'm taking the the uh, tool steel blocks with the slot in them. Okay. And we'll just set one here so it sits nicely. This is a simple 18 gauge wi insulated wire, okay. copper wire, and I'm putting that in the slot. And I'm putting the other block on top so the wire is through the, the slot. Yes. And it slides like that. Yes. Okay? Yes. All right, then we have a, my car battery here, and these you can see are, are just face to face. Yes. I'm touching one, one wire to the, and I'm just gonna go bap, like that. Yes. And then I'm gonna take the wire out, and I'm gonna take the camera now, okay. and take them apart. <laughs> And the thing is, they're they're not magnetic. If because I have a what is what's happening? Um, nobody knows. Uh, here's a steel knife. They're not. It's not. There's. It's not a, a magnet. There's no mag magnetism. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. This is this is essentially an unknown phenomenon in the realm of physics. There's no reason that they should be stuck together. There's no power input. They're not magnetic. But take well, them. How up. do you release them? You gotta. The only way is to to uh, shear them. You can. We'll we'll do Push it inside. Push on my press. Yeah, we'll we'll do it inside. You can you can shear them. Oh, I got it. Okay, now go slow. Go go slow, and you can see that you you can shear, and there's still the part that's together is still still stuck on there, and then finally, eventually, it'll release. Oh my God. <laughs> And then there's a slight magnetism when they're well, back together. It was together. kind of that way when I machined them. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. So that. So